the big question is who's walking away with second place this is quite literally anyone's game and it's for ten thousand dollars look down this list if you have six points right now and you win that takes you to 18 that could put you not only into second place but at the very least into top five fairly easily depending on how the rest of these players perform and given how those in circles have been playing out anything quite literally anything can happen so who knows what's going to happen who knows who's going to take second place but if you're already there you've got to be feeling pretty pretty good about yourself that you might be walking away with at least a little bit of cash but the gameplay is ready let's get into the last map of the day now that we've set the stakes and we'll see who can walk away with that 10k as 15 is already done and dusted and gone to the pockets of biffle and sage Let's go, final map. Timmy Toucans, Brittany Reigns. Now, mind you, they are taking the plane line towards the very end, but you can see everyone dropping out, looking for the respective towers that they're going to perch on, but that zone goes. This is the zone that you've been waiting for, where primarily the majority of the water that is on the map is playable at the beginning. Yeah, that's a, that's a great shout, and I, uh, I'm excited to see what happens with it because, again, every single circle we've seen... Uh, in circle has been so vastly different from the other ones we've seen a, a total you know separation of gameplay between each of those the only kind of mainstay thing we've noticed is that at the end of the day especially when you don't aren't allowing these hiders to have gas masks is that they're all going to be grouped up in that tiny final circle and praying that they don't get a chainsaw to the back of the knee uh to take them down so we'll see what happens leading up to that final moment because everything else has been a little bit different this is a lot of the same though they're working together they're going to grab their loadouts then they're going to split and try to hunt down their opponents now tiff We've done this every map, so we might as well finish it off. We've learned something every map. We've learned uh, in the first map, of course, that, uh, well, uh, you should use vehicles when we're wide open spaces in the final circle. In the second map, we learned, well, melee weapons certainly are key, and Brittany was able to use the katana and now onto the tonfa. But uh, third map, uh, you know, it was a little more amorphous. We were saying, hey, don't trust the Seekers. There's some people trying to, you know, have bargains with these Seekers. Modern Warzone in particular, uh, well, he got betrayed very quickly and uh, was not happy about it. Fourth map, Tiff. What did we learn from the fourth map? Are we, are we set in our ways? Did everybody understand the gameplay loop at this point for the hide-and-seek tournament, or did we learn something in the last one as well? I'm trying to think if I learned anything and I'm honestly just stay away from the PAs because yep. towards the yep. end of the game, you're going to have a multitude of precision airstrikes that have been thrown your way and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, stick with the flock, the people, yep. got to yep. flock together, power of friendship of the hiders. Your anime 101 reference of the day, power of friendship is always the way to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. I think in Map Fire, we realize and learn you got to stick with the flock because at the end of the day, it's going to come down to who's the last person to stay alive, of course. But it comes down to the last person to not get hit by a melee weapon and hopefully not get locked on by that melee weapon when there's a group of 30 people around you. And so here's the thing I took away. What if we crouch? What if we go prone in that final circle Well, everybody's all grouped up and the Seekers don't care whether you're, you're crouched or not as we get some nice uh, dolphin simulation on main stage here? I think we go prone in that final circle. I think you probably don't get locked on by that melee weapon and you're able to survive to that last final second of clean air before the gas kind of takes over everything. Might net you a top five victory in this final map. Who knows? I mean, maybe the one to try it would be Biffle. They've already locked in first place, so why not Smixie out here on the outer edges? We knew this was going to happen. Gonna like, you can't do anything. You might as well go to the water. Just, you know? You know? Lots of water. Lots of people swimming today. Lots of water play in this last map, which is good. We haven't seen an, enough of it, so be fun to see people swim around. Here's the question, though. I, I think our Seekers are really kind of uh, tapped into a certain play style, and they're kind of just running with it. They're learning, but they're not learning different weapons. I still stand by the fact I think Timmy should be running ARs in the mid-game and early game. He's not going to be doing it. He's going to be running the Lockman sub. He's going to be running his chainsaw. Same thing with Brittany. She's been running her M4 and uh, this Tanfa. I, I, you got to have the F-Tac Siege. It's just going to be a massive boon. You don't have to keep chasing people in the water. You can just shoot them or at least some sort of a pistol. Uh, I think it will be a massive boon for a circle like this. But we'll see if they decide to maybe change it up when the loadouts drop or something like that. I don't know craziest boat party i've seen we've got at least 20 people on board and Brittany's just kind of flying through the air looking for players checking all the towers but jokes on y'all they've all decided that they're going towards the water except for the one lone player headed towards pass yeah and again the the hiders can't do anything besides pick up plates they can't even get in a boat that they can drive so 
Not really a lot to work with besides just swimming around out there. Timmy's gonna start his casual strategy of grab a vehicle, drive around, see what happens. Okay, let's I wish I would like to start singing, you know? Give me some road like tunes. Jimmy? Okay, where's the, where's the tower that everyone camps on? That's road true. Tunes, road tunes would be nice, but uh, I, I think we think critically here and say, okay, which towers can we check? But did we look at the though. zone? Oh my gosh, is that a joker? Wait, no, that is that a grenade launcher? What weapons does he have right now? <laughs> Bro, the, the side on it like just zooms in so we can check the towers. Honestly, at this point, Timmy's doing the best that he can, but <laughs> nobody works harder than Nobu Spartan right now. Yeah, I mean, let's let's make it very abundantly clear, which I think I did that uh, coming back from break, but I'm going to say it again. This is for $5,000 a piece, $10,000 for your team, whether you split up as a trio between two days or just a duo for the entire thing. $10,000 on the line for second place. That's a lot of money for potentially one map of Warzone, especially if you're a team like Nobu Spartan who's already situated for that 10K. Like, this is hugely important. You got to be locked in. These tiny little micro decisions could cost you thousands of dollars, which is crazy to say out loud. Oh, man. Super stressful. Stressful indeed, but not Sean J. She's vibing in a tree as well. Brittany, though, still looking to see if she can find literally any remblins of a hider. I'll head over right now. Biffle back on his tree game. Apparently it works. Again, they've won already, but they might as well grab another map win just for posterity's sakes. I, I do want to take a second here, Tiff, since we saw a lot of tiebreakers on the leaderboard to talk about some of those tiebreakers. Uh, the first tiebreaker, if you're tied in points, is the most of victories through five matches. So if you're somebody like Nobu Spartan, you're also going to be set up well to win a tiebreaker because you actually won a map. Uh, second tiebreaker, though, if you have the same amount of victories, aka maybe zero or just one or something like that, is your highest average placement through five games. So that'll likely break all ties, especially because, you know, 22nd versus 23rd doesn't change the fact that you both get zero points, uh, but it does matter for that tiebreaker. Hello. Can't find your code. <laughs> what was that? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how dare uh, you come to my uh, side of the underneath <laughs> of the dock? The freaking trolls under the bridge at this point. Oh, gee whiz. Brittany did find one, though. Okay. Throughout her massive efforts throughout Circle 1 while Circle 2 closes, she has found one hider. Now, we just have to think about this because it's not necessarily the most efficient thing to do. At this point, you might as well jump on this, look over the water. You're going to have to be so efficient about where you land because the moment they see a Nicki Minaj flying towards the water, they're just going to swim away. And it's yeah, yeah. going to be like looking at <gasps> minnows. Noobs is showing us his best seal impression, but I think Brittany spotted one above and they're going to come maybe get the slip on her and get out of here. Oh, Looking nice like tracking! It. Found it! Come correct at Brittany. See you later. Back to the boat. <laughs> Noobs looking like a synchronized <laughs> swimmer out here. Showing you his <laughs> moves for the Olympics. Have you seen that seal vine where it's just spinning in a circle really slow? Chad, if you know what I'm talking about, you gotta let me know. The, the seal that's just like spinning in a circle, like bobbing up and down. It's got like the like clown music on it. Good stuff. Is he just putting muni boxes on his vehicle and driving around? Okay, oh here we go. My. He's running the grenade launcher and the Joker. I respect. Please. What are you... Do it what? to him. <laughs> Yo! Please what? hit. Oh, they they flew off. That would have been sick though. That's toxic. Why'd they jump? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Dude, That's toxic. Why'd they jump? Bruh, because they, they, they got the <laughs> money on the line. 10K. Uh, it's not just money. It's a lot of cash. Five digits? Like, what yeah. do you mean? <laughs> Out. I'm jumping off the tower too. Is he just gonna joker every single tower? Oh, please. Everyone hold your collective breath. Come on! Come on! What? What? Oh! Where did it? I don't know. I don't know, Timmy. 
I have no idea. I don't know if it was out of like render range or something. <laughs> I don't know. Keep on flying around the map, buddy. That was crazy though. Um, so far, 0 for 2 at this point okay. on towers. Okay. That's why he's got the munis. He wants more rockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing is you got to get a bunch of rockets. One of these is going to hit and it's going to be an incredible clip. Look, the guy is that guy is going for gold, right? He's going for for content gold, short form king, savant, as it were, millions of followers on TikTok. He's farming content. I will remind people too that they are playing. The, the seekers are also playing for cash. Forty seven thousand on the line for the hiding players and the hiding teams. Fifteen k already having been earned now from Biffle and Sage because they're untoppable at the top. Uh, second place for 10k uh, the seekers are playing for 3k though so they're splitting 3k between the two of them and whoever has the most eliminations walking away with two a scumming just says well i relent just take it oh a jailbreak that's why yeah as they say there is definitely a jailbreak but the thing is everyone was almost alive i mean scumming's gonna come right back but well, it's actually a nice strategy from Scummin to die there because you're going to come back Wait, from the jailbreak. Really fast. Oh, and, oh, so close on the Joker. Wait, but uh, Scummin comes back, but that means he can also fly down onto like an unaccessible tower or something that you can't climb up to. It was actually a really smart play from Scummin to, to get to some nice high ground and hold out to the end circle. This better work out. Oh my oh, God. You wow. know what? I didn't even think about that what a strategy what did we learn on map number five <laughs> so he's running yeah well we learned something crazy that this is either this is gonna make or break this is a thousand dollar decision for timmy toucans because he's running a grenade launcher and a rocket launcher the joker here has zero eliminations britney's on six and at the end circle if come this on, doesn't on, kill faster than come his on. chainsaw he is going to lose by over 20 kills in this final map, which will lose him the seeker side of this tournament. That's true, because right now, Brittany's doing really well. Timmy's on zero. Brittany's making up a lot of ground. But Timmy's having fun. And Juki's is in a tower. You see everything coming his way. You know Timmy's in the nearby vicinity with the Joker. Man, it would... Oh! <gasps> Look it worked! That was the grenade did, launcher! Though. How was that fair? How was that fair? <laughs> <laughs> sure! Yeah! Oh, love that! that. Okay, a grenade launcher will work. Gets a couple of eliminations. I don't know about the Joker, though. I do like the grenade launcher for Final Circle. If you have a ton of munitions boxes, you're going to run out of ammo really quickly. I think the Joker just takes way too long. Even if you get like a, a collateral splash damage of like five, six eliminations with it, not even kind of as fast as that chainsaw. You know, I respect this. A little spotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is only plates. But if you pick it up, mm. he's not technically using it. That's an admin decision. I don't know. We defer. We yeah. defer. We're just we're just here because well we get to have a good time. I don't know. I if just we'll... defer to my 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 one rule: only plates and sage. Sage is down. None of the gulag though likely will win it. Biffle is as per the usual. Guys playing as a partridge. Bush Wookie. I need some more names for like you know carl the corner camper carl the corner the bush wookie archers in a pear tree oh dude hear me out goge irena's got your back don't worry at grandmaster goge we got you i've officially uh, seen what? the vine of the seal twirling in the water <laughs> oh did irena tweet it everybody go they check did. out irena's most recent tweet they know what i'm talking about Yes, there it is. Thank you, Irina. Uh, Brittany thank finds God right I, up. I oh. learned something new today. Uh, in the meantime, by the way, while you're checking out Twitter, Brittany's kind of frying. 10 eliminations make it 11. And we're only in the fourth circle. This is probably the highest amount of eliminations we've actually seen in the fourth circle this entire tournament. So people getting a little bit more careless 
as the time runs out of this summit. She was down by 23 to Timmy coming into the final match. You know, people are having fun and the laughter, the joy. I'm happy. Oh! It's just a flesh wound, and you're fine. Look at his health. I think he's yeah. on two. <laughs> Timmy, charging right. in. Yeah, it's it's like three to twelve right now. So she actually has a nice little nine point lead over Timmy in the final map, and the total count that Timmy was above uh, Brittany in total of eliminations was around like twenty three. So the gap right now is only about fourteen eliminations that Brittany needs to get over Timmy going forward in this map to win an extra thousand dollars, which is certainly fairly sizable. And it's because Timmy's going with this crazy strategy to try to use the grenade launcher and the Joker in end game, which I just don't know if it works better. Oh, let's go. Come on. Do it to him. It's got to Do hit. it to him. Does it give them? Yeah, they, they get a oh. notification, I think. Oh. Oh! What the fuck? Bro. Did I get any kills? I, I think I that's hit what them? hit Aiden down did to I 2 HP. I think you get a hit marker. I think you get a hit marker and it's not doing enough damage to fully eliminate them. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's doing enough damage, maybe at this range or something. <laughs> But, uh, wow. I, I do like the grenade launcher. I think if you change the Joker here for the chainsaw, I think you win it all. Okay, you Wait. got a couple. You got Natasha. I definitely think you saved the rack instead of the grenade launcher. I think that's just a better option. Oh, occupation scan. Everyone's going to have to go prone. We're underwater. No water to be found. That was only for our early game. Aim on point oh, there at close. the beginning there. Yeah, and uh, notably changed weapons here, and I think that's helping from an elimination standpoint. Oh, yeah, the cast off instead of the M4, 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's been tweaked a little bit, but still pretty viable. I wouldn't call it, like, one of the absolute best ARs in the game, but... Um, yeah, when it's something, like, works. somewhat mobile while also yeah. still packing a decent punch, so... I don't mind the take. Thank you. All right. Fifth circle. Still calm before the storm, but Brittany's on 13. It's kind of frying. Imperatively, this is a big win. Giving her a decent chance here in the final couple circles. And there, people are just flying oh. out. They don't even see her. Okay, okay. Down below. Able to grab that one. Sorry, Iceman Isaac. Gulag is closed, so every elimination will be final. You can't buy back. The only problem is Brittany's taking some of these kind of much harder shots and is low on ammo. She needs to find a munitions box or ammo inside. At least finds a little bit. In game, Ooh. you run out of ammo pretty quickly. <gasps> oh, oh, no. this is misses on the tonfa. It's gonna go flying in though. Can't she grab the elimination? Oh, come on, you can do it. Yeah, oh, easy. He easy. runs into the corner of the building and just like that meets their end but another one in front of britney every elimination matters for her as she claws back at that differential wow. she grabs them yeah, that's yeah. 16 now timmy is still trying to use <laughs> this rocket for content purposes and looks like they're just gonna tank it yeah a ton of hit markers with the joker here yeah, but if I'm Brittany, I'm already over there near that tower. Throw some Semtex up there and capitalize on that. But the grenade launcher, they're finding Apathy and Apathy fully limbed. Give him six, but still, Brittany has more. And honestly, he's stirring up a lot of these players and Brittany's just trying to eliminate them as they rotate away. Yeah, she's basically out of ammo though. So now she's gonna have to go hunting. Going for vehicle eliminations here. Oh, wow. That's a freebie for Slack. You take those where you can get them. This, he's, I, I don't know if it's his last munitions box or not. I didn't couldn't tell in his backpack. Yeah, he's he's out of rockets. Oh. Besides what he just filled back up. So he needs to save those for in-game if he really wants to try this strategy. But... Oh, she could go by. 
be really good but i think it's going to be outside of that circle now needs to prioritize waiting and maybe hitting the melee but mm. this is going to be a little bit tough she's still leading in eliminations see now this is a bit more reminiscent to the first zone that we had that was a lot more out in the open and to me smart does have a vehicle to utilize for a lot of these splatters this could be a massive moment to get a ton of splatters here as the the people are scattered around trying to figure out where to go in this next zone of course biffle survives here great on him won't matter they're gonna win the question is who's gonna get second currently tied oh for God. second and winning that tiebreaker is nobu spartan watch out Ooh, they're both alive nobu spartan's team is still a duo timmy in the vehicle Biffle was trying to be the largest tumbleweed I've ever seen, but this position here from Nobu looks a lot better. Now, Timmy in the double digits, <laughs> crunching the foes. By one. By two. Oh, barely misses. I think that was Biffle in that bush. See you later, Adrian. Yo, there's so many trees. I mean, this true, is though. Where Timmy thrives, though. This is the exact in circle he needed to close this thing out. I think if it was buildings, I think he'd be in trouble with his weapon selection, but having that vehicle is massive for him. We'll see if he continues to use it. We're down to what looks still like 40 teams on that screen, but we go a little bit back in time, and uh oh, they don't see Nikki behind. Tonfa in hand. One, two. Can we get another one? Can we lock on? Can we lunge? Yes, we can. Oh, we're 20, doing work. Does she have 23? Jeez. Why is Nobu so peaceful? He's in the gas right now, though. He's worried about this Nikki in the car. Someone got on the roof of the car. Sure. Can't get I mean, splattered if you're on the roof. <laughs> it's very typical. It's very typical because now it is Good purely grief. chaotic. Oh, my gosh. Grenade launcher huge in these final moments. He might have been right. Was down by like 15 and has closed the gap dramatically. But is it enough? Brittany's 29? about to be on 30. Yeah, yeah. It's like 29 to like 18. Here we go. Oh my. I actually didn't see that player. So shouts on Brittany for being able wow. to get that. If they stop, they're literally dead. Brittany said it herself. She just has to catch them. Tommy trying to juke out the car. Stay away from Brittany. Oh, no. I just don't know how many kills he's getting. Is it going to be enough to take down Brittany's massive lead right now? I think it might. He is splattering everyone. Ten eliminations at least. Tommy's trying to hang out into the gas at the very least to dodge the car for a minute. Trying to get this health regen off. Oh my gosh. It is 40. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Brittany's on 40. Timmy's on like 30. Brittany needs to win by like 20 something eliminations here, Tiff. Timmy is like a driver in the parking lot that has just recently snowed hitting donuts. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 23 needed over Timmy to tie 24 to win. We'll see. Oh, he missed the throwing knife and all he has is a rocket launcher. It's going to blow up the vehicle. Oh my God. Brittany on 45. Brittany, Brittany climbing. I don't think it's going to be enough though because Timmy is just a menace in the vehicle. We have 19 players still alive. <laughs> Gosh, he's on 48 somehow. He got so many with the vehicle. He's out of rockets though. And he's just having to melee with the grenade launcher. Brittany hunting down every single one that she can. There went Biffle. Not Biff gonna win this one. Biffle somehow went out still top five though. Didn't see who the last one was. And somehow, after all of that, rocket launchers in hand an open zone a vehicle in hand timmy two cans battles all the way back and finds himself with 50 eliminations to britney's 51. unbelievable performance from timmy in the vehicle a uh, classic content from timmy two cans you've been watching him for a long time you've seen this a thousand times and he was able to do it well done
That's crazy. It was really impressive. And you think back to if Brittany had adapted the melee weapons in that first initial map, this would have been such a close race between yeah. her and Timmy because it was neck and neck for every map since. But it's just going to look